Okay. I haven't really done this at the office. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt. There's my holidays. Not November yet. That was the next uh, national holiday we recognize. But because our work is mostly uh, Jewish people, we also recognize Yom Kippur and many other fun holidays. But October is going to be the weird one because I do want to go to a Paracon called Virtual Vulture City Paracon. So I plan to be out there in the first week, whether I leave on Thursday night and just take a hell of a trip. It's a six hour trip on Thursday and then relax all Thursday night and join the Paracon and then take another trip on Monday and go over to another friend's place. I may have to cancel that due to the uh, nature of the issue of work. Work wants me to be in the office. So, and quite frankly, I'm not too happy about it because I'm busting my ass off and LA traffic just plain sucks. Today was a horrible day. Again, yesterday was a shitty day and I think I know why. It's uh, fucking illegal traffic that's screwing things up. Now I go vroom, vroom, vroom every 20 minutes out of the office. It's finally quiet down, but I see two cars on the camera over there. So let's keep an eye on things because it's giving me a live feed on the network. Ah, being a jack of too many trades. So today I'm spending some time doing some 3D stuff. I got an SLS cam I'm trying to reprint another chassis for. It's an SLS cam because it has the Xbox cam, but it uses the skeletal view. And I've had a custom written custom written code from the development tree that I wrote myself so some people have liked it in the uh, paranormal community that you have a portable gun like design whether it's actually that portable I don't know I might I'm going to build another one for someone because I believe it or not it was actually in someone's account the CAD file so I don't really know what's really going on with that but whatever the case is so I'm moving on to that I'm trying to deal with redesigning it so there is a few little uh, quirks I'm doing and trying to design it now just upload uh, redesign the uh, CAD file and then I'm testing my 3d printer and getting and see how well calibration is I think I might be cooking the filament a little too hot I'm getting webbing between filaments um, it's just dirty print job but it'll at least print it out if you can print it out I'm 10 times happier having something printed out on the printer I think it's going to be a 48 hour print job uh, my roommate's going to be really annoyed by the uh, whining noises it makes throughout the day but I can't help you I meant to start this print job Thursday night but I'm going to start it probably tonight and it probably will work through Sunday and get lucky I might finish Monday night but it gives me a chance to work on the schismatics and decide how I want the charging circuit in this design was because there's an interesting problem laptops that only have one or two ports on the side uses the same port for charging so you get the charging port and if you're familiar with Apple charge split charge and all those protocols there's different uh, well, the common one is a 10 watt charge with uh, with a uh, ballast resistor basically you have to hold supposedly the two data lines around two and a half volts with about 100 ohms between the two so it detects that and it usually usually goes into fast charge mode where it'll pull like an amp or so to charge the battery because more than more than likely when you plug your usb it goes into the usb client mode and your usb port is usually limited to about a half an amp so two and a half watts so you get a so so uh, so that's what i fixed the problem there's an entire circuit board and schematic inside there that jerry rigs a charging so when you feed it 15 volts on the charging port it not only regulates it down there's a uh, i found a 12 volt to uh lithium ion car charger so that charges the internal battery it'll also switch on a relay and charge the uh drop it down to five volts uh to provide power five volts about three amps yeah i know you, you, everyone buys a 2.1 amp ac adapter there's no such thing they're actually all three amps inside or most of them are really two amps. You don't really get 2.1 or 2.95. They just do that because if you're one of those tarted, retarded person, you've got to buy that exact 2.1 amp power supply. The voltage is what really matters because that's the potential energy. The current is actually determined based on the draw. Your power supply's current rating is a capability of what it can do. So if you got a power supply that can put out 75 amps, you better get some big cables and we're going to have some fun arc welding. 
But other than that, yeah, that's exactly how it works. Matter of fact, my crypto mining rig, I need to see if my buddy is going to cash out and we're just going to transfer and close the account probably today. So I'm going to take the uh, mining rig out and you got to love all the five volt lines that run. I think it's like 75 amps at five volts. Actually, maybe 12 because the hash boards, from what I understand, have onboard regulators where they communicate on a serial bus. I never really looked at how it worked internally, but I know there's a control board and I happened to get the 9J, not the 9I, because the guy who sold it to me, sold it to me, he said it was 9I, but it was hashing at 13 uh, terahash, I don't remember what it was, or 9, whatever it is. But right now, the way crypto is going, do I really want to keep running it? Because it does heat up the server room. It's really pulling about 1200 watts. So I may take that down this weekend and clean that up and put it up on eBay if anyone wants to buy a perfectly working hashing rig for 50 bucks and 50 bucks to ship it it's yours I mean it's probably worth more on the power supply because it's a 75 amp I think it's like a 70 something amp I don't know you could start house fires with that power supply easily I mean you can do that with your AC outlet but hey have fun with 12 volts so I mean it might be uh, I might check with my friend in the ham radio community because they're always looking for high power supply but switching power supply is a big no-no because you get switch mode noise depending on how they shield the power supplies we've dealt with this before but when you have a giant nut sized terminal like a number four or something you know you're pulling some serious power <laughs> um stuff i never really had to deal with because i was trained to go more efficient and go green but when you realize it doesn't matter how much green it, you look at things like transmission lines and it's amazing but they all obey the laws of physics Nikolai Tesla understood the universe. Not talking about Tesla Motors. N Nikolai Tesla, and I hate to say it, he died probably not having a really nice plus one. And I really am trying to not live his lifestyle, but I can see where we parallels and where some of the things we run into. I mean, I'm kind of a rebirth of him in some degree, actually. I do not have interest in people. He likes pigeons. I like dragons. So, and I consider myself a dragon, Drake the dragon, but I don't feel connected anymore. As a matter of fact, every night I keep getting this because of all the crap going on with drama. I'm thinking people are just buying Drake toys just to destroy them on video and public TV to show how much hatred they have towards me. Fine, stab me, pop me, I could care less. Actually, I'm kind of turned on by the popping part, but, <laughs> but I really don't care, honestly. Um, the only thing I do care about is the fact that I did kind of made enough money to pay some of the uh, dues back that needed to be. Um, I hate to say it. I disagree. If you think a hobby is where you pour all your money in, then that's your problem because I think in reality, money should be budgeted because financial independence is something they don't really teach in school and financial literacy, which means to understand what money is and isn't. Yes, we like to make more of it. And the more you can make, the more you can spend. But the question is, do you need to spend all that money? Can you pick and choose? And at most of all, if you consider money as power, then you do not know financial literacy. If you work a day job, if you work a middle worker job, heck, even if you're a poor person trying to make some money in return, just washing cars, you know, it starts there. I mean, we all mowed lawns. We all started the basics, but we were never taught financial literacy. When I mowed the lawn, the biggest thing after the day, depending how tired I was, is go to Radio Shack and buy stuff. Of course, every time I had a party, everyone got me a gift certificate at Radio Shack. I get like $100 to a point. Every now and then you get a couple of squeaky toys and stuff that people bought me. But, you know, it's that's how gifts work. You all exchange gifts. And as much as I really like that, people in my life, like Crazy Joe, know 10 years, all I could say is enjoy your laptop. Um, I'm just not too happy how our relationship turned out. And I knew it was going to go south when the day he bought that $50 steak in front of me and I bought something much cheaper. But if he's going to treat himself like a Taj Mahal because he worked hard and he deserves hard, I can't blame him. But at the same time, you can't screw people. If you screw people, you're going to get hosed here at work. Yes, I am allowed to buy materials like UPS batteries replacement. I ordered three thousand dollars worth of materials last week, but some of our equipment's really old. And in the past, I told them I'm trying to save you guys money. I go to my local electronics store, cut deals, all this stuff. 
But they go, you're wasting time. And it says, well, if it's all about time, then I'm just going to start ordering scheduling. So taking a weekend off that might turn into a week off, I'm going to have to, I held back and sending my email on it. I really need to get the fuck out of California. North Arizona is a nice little country town, ghost town. You know, take one of my SLR cameras, maybe go some ghost, some ghost hunting with an SLR imaging tool instead. Have a little fun. Might not really be a truthful thing. Maybe make some nice TikTok videos and stuff, whatever. I might give me some opportunity to revamp my social network profile, even though I lost the uh, TM Drake profile. But just because I lost it, I mean, I'm totally dead. I could create another profile for TM Drake Toys. In fact, I probably will shortly after this. But I connect them together and do some video posting. I'm on the cloud. I'm only on the cloud because I need to be everywhere. I would prefer not to be on the cloud. But due to the recent mishap of data storage and backup issues, I've moved to the cloud so I can actually effectively jump between work, home, paracons, and all that stuff and not have to carry a lot of stuff in my car. As a matter of fact, my car is right outside. And I need to put some stuff in the car right now and uh, try to return it. As much as I hate to tell Steve Martin, the artist, he gave me a tablet. It's a nice tablet. Stylus won't work with it because the driver won't accept it. I says, at this point, I'm going to give it back to you because I really don't want to put any more minutes of my time on it because it is something new to learn. I do should learn art, but I'm a tech, I'm a technologist. I actually, to see technology, I can't really, I'll admit it. Some of it goes green and I love it. It's like, to amazingly get a huge battery life on an LED light that fits in your pocket is impressive. But at the same time, I'm not going to say everyone needs to go solar and I'm a ghost hunter and then we can't get power to in the morning. So we either need a generator or battery pack. And yes, Patriot Power Supply, which I am going to order some stuff from them soon uh, for my new portable rigs and stuff. I will invest money in other companies now. It used to be I didn't want to, but I realized if they make your life simpler, you can sell it to other people. It's a win-win. You are actually creating a community of people who don't want to cheat and steal. Now, if you want to come over here and migrate and start a business, one guy, Ramsey, starts a boat business. Sure, fine, but don't screw me. He's He didn't want to pay me because his employer is more important than me, and I'm a contractor. So putting that in perspective, his employer could have been a, a fucking illegal. I don't know. But all I know is that putting razor blades in a box that fell right on me when I was shipping skipper toys and annoyed that I was able to do the job of three different positions under one night with a lot of energy, you know, and I love the exercise. I love all the responsibility, but someone like that, see, he wanted to make me a partner, but I found out he's literally almost 50 grand in debt. I don't know, maybe 20 to 50, somewhere around there. But I also find out that he has an in a turnover around 40,000 a month. I found that out by obviously I know how to look at computers. I know how to look at accounting data. He won't give me any of that data. And then when I found when he started realizing I was figuring out all the stuff, I says, OK, well, here's my share. What if I go for 40, 51 percent of the ownership of your company? And then that's when I got kicked out pretty much. I'm like, OK, so that's when I started continuing TM Drake Toys. But. Zorn has pretty much ditched me and blocked me everywhere, and he kind of lied. I have a video picture of it that I will send him back that's saying, you know what? I'm still going to send you your money to you, whether you like it or not. I'm going to have you sign here that you got it, and you also got the seven toys in place of the money you wanted almost two years ago. Um, once you admit that to me, okay, I will send you the remaining balance, but at the same time, um, I'm going to send you back what I have found and I have deemed to be untruthful. Now, whether you're doing this to cover your ass, that's that's your style. But like I said, it's for most people to keep uh, to keep a secret, not to, to keep the uh, to get to carry a lie. It's hard to keep it going the same way. It. It's hard to maintain the same story when you show it when you're making a lie. So I hate to be political, but if the community is pushing you far left to stay in it, then I might it's time for me to walk. Um, and start deleting my accounts and just ending it here because if if what I've had in 2019 was an awakening of my skill sets and the value of my skill sets, if I'm going to help you, it's going to be after I help myself. So I'm not going to help you be just because you deserve it. So 
that's pretty much the end of the story with that Joe and everyone else. Um, I don't want to be screwed anymore and I'm getting sick and tired of being screwed. I mean, you work a day job, you work eight hours, you're technically being screwed, but you're accepting it because you're providing a service for at least eight hours, depending on what your job requires you to do. And you're making someone else happy for eight hours. Anytime beyond that, minus the breaks, is whatever you want to do. And I don't, I can't say that. Sometimes I'll ask my assistant if you can stay a little bit late to give me a hand, but I can't force him. He's already, he's already done his deed for the day. So I understand that. I work with employers, but I also understand I'm an entrepreneur and I'm a businessman. I'm a jack of many trades. Because of this, I sometimes have to stay to the deed is done. If I need to go home because I'm super tired, I usually excuse myself and go home, but or I'll work till I crash and then continue working first thing next morning. It's just that I'm kind of stoned at how this community is, is if you're not with us, you're against us. And there's nothing wrong, and I'll say it again, nothing wrong calling an illegal an illegal. Because it is actually a definition used everywhere. If you contract without a proper contract, it's a legal contract, but you might be doing it because you're friends. So, but if you sign a contract and the agreement is violated, you can suffer legal consequences depending on which party wants to act on it. My issue with Zorn is he didn't really break anything. It's just that he lied to the community to cover his ass. And if you're going to do that, well, you didn't violate my contract because in reality, I'm still in debt to you. So I understand that. And I'm going to get that cleared as soon as I can because I got to go and round up all the information and research, close the account out. And just call it a day i might even do another toy run and if i make some profit out of it you get a piece of the share it just depends i might just drop it entirely and work on other profitable things because see the thing with profit and people don't understand is that you still got to pay taxes on shit. and depending on how you set your account up you may be paying more or less taxes depending on where you go i'm several accounts so i fooling around, I merged a few together, which is probably bad in the business world. You really don't want to merge them. But the reason why I'm doing them is to, to, to uh, mitigate against, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the problem you run into when you run into reconciliation in books. This way, if you have to reconcile something, instead of reconciling these two accounts, you reconcile the total account together. And then you, because you, let's say you spend a lot of stuff in credit card, in, out, in, out, in, out. And so this way you can reconcile it in what is one account. And then you can close the account and create another account. Accounts, uh, companies like Chase does allow a lot of the stuff to be easily created, so it's not hard to do. Um, and if you have good credit score, I hate to say that people are whining me, how do you get good credit score? There's just one word I can tell you guys. Trust is everything. Well, anyhow, it's been a long discussion in a V-blog today, playing at 1x, 2x. I need to figure out how to do video editing and make some nicer V-blogs. But that's coming next. And I will probably be cleaning up this account because people keep begging me not to talk politics. But I keep telling you guys, illegals is not politics because I have to deal with legality. I can't even use music in the background of here. Otherwise, it would be illegal to use something without the permission. So don't get me wrong. If you give me permission to something, I will make it clear. Cyro and all the other guys are making a big deal that I'm still his design. No, I don't want to use his design anymore because he says, don't carry it on your site. I says, that's the only place I can really carry it. So I can fund up the cost and all this other stuff, but I'm pretty much done. If you guys going to be all fucking libtards, then fuck off.